Hey guys, in this video we're going to learn how we can permute or shuffle or randomize the rows or columns of a data frame. Sometimes that's useful in doing some statistical you know, experiments to extract some, uh, you know, to perform statistical tests and, and so on and so forth. So let's go ahead into our uh, notebook, import pandas and create our usual data frame. Needless to say that we can uh, import a CSV or import something from the internet if you wanted that's our data frame imagine we wanted to change the order of the columns right um, there's more than way of doing this and one way is via using numpy and the way we're going to use numpy is we're going to uh, use numpy's random permutations to change basically the you know the the order of the rows and let's remind ourselves that df data frame dot shape of zero gives us back the number of rows so let's call this number of rows because because we wanted to get a randomization of the rows themselves we need to use the number of rows in this example and here what I'm going to do is I'm going to use numpy the, per, the random dot permutation and pass it the number of rows so this should be the number of rows in rows and what this function does it permutes a sequence so when I give it the number of rows 9 it will have the sequence 0 to 8 and it will basically permute it or randomize it and then I'm going to use that to change the order of the column so let's first get this randomized sequence you'll notice here the B now has values from 0 to 8 and they're randomized and then in my data frame I can use the date, I'm sorry, the take function, which here is analogous to uh, this, um, similar to this function, but what it does, it takes basically the indices and it will change the order of the rows according to the indices that we pass it. And uh, now I want the orders of the rows to be this sequence instead of the original sequence. If I do df to take, pass it that sequence, and you notice the order of the rows will change. So this is one way of randomizing or permuting the rows, right? To change the order uh, randomly or pseudo-randomly. Um, another way uh, is instead of passing this function, uh, a numpy random permutation, the number of rows, the sequence, we can pass it the index. If we look, if we have a look at the uh, our, the index of our data frame, this is what it looks like. Okay, A, B, C, da, 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 and then we can randomize, you know, this list of letters by, uh, if I just call this on the index, you will notice that the order will change, or it will be randomized, and then I can pass that to the re-index function. We've seen this before, so we can pass that to the re-index function. By default, it changes the order of the rows, we can use it to do the same thing and change the order of the columns exactly the same idea if I do that notice I get a different order of the rows so the randomization happens so that's the second way of uh, doing it a third way of randomization is by using the sample um, the sample function if I look at the sample function documentation it says it returns a random sample of items from an access of object. So what it does is I pass it n how many value how many random values I want from my data frame and it returns them in a random order. And the trick I'm I'm going to do here is I'm gonna tell it give me uh, a number of rows equals you know that equal that's equal to the original number of rows meaning give me a random sample using the old using all the rows and what it'll, it'll do it will randomize the rows. I'm sorry, uh, it's n rows, you know, the one we read earlier, n rows instead of rows, this one here, getting the number of rows. And then if I run that, it gives me a randomized order of the rows. Notice that uh, we can do the same thing for the columns, especially using the reindex function. Uh, the reindex, um, we said before that. It can be, you know, we can use it to do the columns as well. So we can change that, change the order of the columns. Uh, I'll give, I'll leave, I'll leave that for you to experiment with. But that's like more than one way 
for randomizing the rows. Let's uh, let's assume that now we'd like to randomize a certain column. Let's maybe say, for example, the city column. And one way we can do that is because each column in our data frame is a pandas series, then we can permute that series and then save it into the same row. Oh, I'm sorry, into the same column. So what I'm, go I'm going to do here is I'm going to save the city column in a variable called s, and then just to check that we have nine elements, so nine cities. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the same method function that we used before, the numpy to random the permutation, and then I'm going to um, if I just take that separately and create a new cell, I just wanted to show you that we can get the same random sequence for the length of, of S, so the length of the number of entries in our, our series S, which is the um, city uh, column. And then I can say here, for example, number of entries equals that. And then here, if I, I'm sorry, not number of entries, these are randomized entries, so let's call them maybe randomized entries. And if I display now S of, you know, randomized entries, then you notice that order will change triple Rome Sydney and it, the original one was Sydney triple Rome okay uh, I'm sorry the original one was the original one was triple Sydney triple Rome okay and now we've randomized those entries and one thing we can do now is we can replace the city column by passing it the values of this randomized series so here I can say s dot uh, s dot I'm sorry s of n entries these randomized entries and then I can get the values if I get show you how to get the values here we get the values as an array object and we can pass that now to the city column to replace it let's have a look at what the data frame now looks like and now the data frame now, uh, the city column now has a new order, Tripoli, Rome, Sydney, Rome. Notice all the other uh, columns still have the same order, the original order, but the city column have been randomized, and it has this new order, Tripoli, Rome, Sydney, Rome, and so on and so forth, right? I hope the idea makes sense. It's quite easy uh, to do. I'll leave you here, and I'll see you next time.